Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we will talk about one of the important and of course our favorite segment of food industry that is bakery. Had you ever noticed how this industry keep on producing goods with the same quality attributes, desired texture and maintaining consumer relation and satisfaction over the years? So without further ado, let's quickly move on to the topic. Rheological characteristic of flows. Mm, is there any confusion? Rheology. What does the term actually mean? How do and rheology can be related? Is there any significant use in food industry? What does rheological measurement do? To answer all these questions, we have a today's session completely dedicated to rheology. Rheology is actually assessment of behavior of matter under application of deformation force. Though rheology is well recognized in predicting and controlling the quality of baked products, especially elastic and viscous behavior of major consideration. Primary aim of rheological measurement is to differentiate between wheat varieties. That is of course one of the major ingredients in bakery industry. According to baking performance without actually performing the baking test. Hence it saves time, material and labor. What is the rheological characteristics? These are basically performed tests used to determine well-defined physical properties independent of size, shape and how they are measured. It can be used for process design calculation which are not suitable as measured on diet basis. The food material having viscous and elastic properties is subjected to shear stress condition produced during handling and processing. Depending upon the magnitude of elasticity and viscosity, the material will regain some of its original configuration after stress is removed, as we could relate it with our previous knowledge of elasticity property we studied in physics. This gives the idea of analyzing the rheological characteristic. Now these are some problems that are encountered in rheological testings, making it less efficient. These are complex and expensive instrumentation required for carrying out rheological testings. They are often time consuming and require high level of technical skills. Sometimes they often does not produce desired deformation conditions and difficult in interpretation of results. Though sometimes they often encountered with slip and edge effect which are undesired. Now these are the various factors and the relationship between the dorheological properties, gluten networks, various subunits contributing wholly to the bread making quality. Now let's discuss some of the factors which affect the dorheology. First, water. We know in dough development, water plays a significant role in development of protein structure. Heavy water often has larger mineral deposition which influences the development of protein. Esterifying agents for glutamine residue, urea, salts, 
oxidizing and reducing agents which affects disulfide bonding protein subunits present of most important gliadin and glutenin network biological methods used for cereal products farinograph and mixograph they measure mixing time torque and apparent viscosity for dough extensiograph measures extensibility for dough alveograph measures biaxial extensibility used for dough as well as gluten development amylograph measures apparent viscosity and gelatinization temperature used for paste and suspensions consistometer measures apparent viscosity used for sauces and fillings falling number test measures apparent viscosity and extent of damaged starch content used for fluids penetrometers measure firmness and hardness for semi solid food as well as gel phenograph and mixograph records the torque that result from mixing a dough at a constant speed or the resistance to mixing the recorded curve yield information about changes in rheological properties during mixing the height of the middle band is indicating consistency in brabander unit now this is the typical phenogram and alveogram developed for strong and medium flour used for bread and cookie respectively the height as we could see in the middle of the peak reflect an increasing resistance with the mixing time and more or less identifiable peak followed by a decrease in resistance these curves are of course different for hard that is bread and soft that is cookie wheat flours extensiograph and alveograph These are the instrument available to assess the physical property of non-fermented dough when it has been mixed. It is convenient method for characterizing flour strength. A piece of dough is stretched or expanded until it ruptures and the force versus extension curve is recorded. from this record resistance to deformation and extensibility can be analyzed surface area under extensiograph or alveograph is proportional to the energy that is required to rupture the test piece amylograph without discussing this subject let's know how this test is performed here the chemist as fix the assembly for performing the test the utensil where the dough mixture or the flour mixture is to be kept for testing now he measure the required amount of flour to be tested mix it uniformly using a spatula
after completion of mixing it pour into the utensil of the instrument holder fair readings can be calculated This method can be used in cookie tractor plant for measuring the viscosities of incoming flour as well as salaries. This most popular instrument is Prebender amylograph which heats the slurry and perform operation at 90 degrees centigrade. High amylogram value indicate a lack of amylolytic activity or greater pasting property of the sample flour or a starch. Now here comes the falling number test. It provides an index of alpha amylase in a flour or ground wheat sample. It relies on reduction in viscosity of starch paste caused by the action of alpha amylase enzyme. Gelatinization strength is measured by falling number as time in second required for stirring and allowing the stirrer to fall a measure distance through hot aqueous flour gel undergoing liquefaction. Falling number ranges from 100 seconds or less for sprout damaged wheat and about 250 seconds for bread wheat with average alpha amylase activity. This is a specimen falling number test apparatus. Significance of rheological properties in food industry. Dough undergoes some type of deformation in every phase of the conversion of flour into baked products. Mixing Extreme deformation took place with exceed the rupture limit. During fermentation, a smaller deformation took place which exhibits different set of rheological properties. During sheeting and molding, deformation at intermediate level occurs. Empirically, the test such as phenograph, mixograph and amylograph measure the mechanical properties of dough that are very much essential in maintaining their properties during processing and the desired quality attribute in the final product. However, they are sometimes not very much significant in providing precise measurement because of non-uniform shape of the test product, inadequate deformation condition as well as the deformation rate. If you like the content, just give us a thumb up, follow the channel and share as much as possible. Thank you. Goodbye.